Hey everybody, standing ovation here again with another break. It's one of my favorite ones. It's a product release, or at least for it is for me. First time I open up the box at 22, 23 Upper Deck Artifacts Hockey. Uh, brand new as of yesterday just came out. It was only like two months ago that the 21, 22 stuff came out. So it's like, uh, just as you got bored of the first stuff, here's a round two. And actually this stuff's a little bit better, I think, for about the same price per box. Um, this has a whole lot more. It's packed like your old artifacts. The redemptions are all back. Um, and they actually made the set a little bit bigger. They put a goalie subset into the regular set. So now it's got SPs, goalies. There's 20 of those, as well as the 15 legends and the 30 rookies that are all numbered. At a, well, the rookies are 999. The legends and the goalies are at a 599. And then the, I guess the stars are 30, also at a 599. But holy cow, it's got all the... Oh, whoops. It's got all the different color parallels in a hoppy box. It's actually got a couple that are specific to um, retail. It's kind of good for a change because the artifacts blaster retails have sucked over the years as we all laugh at it. I found out myself this uh, pri 21, 22 when I, I ripped and embarrassed myself opening up even more of them. But anyway, that's, that's neither here nor there. That's old news, past, past, past bad judgment. Uh, let's look ahead uh, at 22, 23. What, what do we got in 22, 23? It's not in 21, 22. There's actually a whole lot of stuff, man. I'm looking at the printout in my hands right here, and like, 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 seriously, look at all the information. There's a ton. Oh, there's a okay. There's a blank page of information too, and that's pretty typical of Upper Deck. They're going to give you information that you don't really know. That's the Easter egg hits, I guess, which there are in here as well. Uh, but what can I tell you that you might not already know? Just the different color of parallels. Uh, you got rubies that are four ninety nine, coppers are two ninety nine, royal blues are one ninety nine, emeralds ninety nine, light blue steel eighty five, autumn seventy five, rose sixty five, yellows fifty, pinks thirty five, purples at twenty five, spectrum jungle at fifteen. Those are in the retail blasters only, and uh, that's as I say, that's kind of neat they did that. And then you got indigo numbered out of ten. So. They also get clear cuts, uh, like last year, the clear cuts. And there's updates in this year, clear cuts from last year as well. There's also update autographs, but only a couple of them. Or, I mean, update, yeah, just uh, I'm looking further ahead than I need to be. But, yeah, there's a, a short list of updates. But this is, they've also got this new thing with uh, tech cards, I guess. That's what they're slightly getting into. And, you know, if you're going to put in lame autos, maybe it's better that you start putting in more cool cards that are not autoed and i like them it kind of goes back to remind me of the old leaf days in 95 96 leaf with like uh, leather and lumber and like you know you had stubble and you had uh leather and you had whatever but it's like different uh textured stuff you've got uh what are they calling them wood uh i'm looking right at it and, and there's so much information here i'm getting ahead of myself uh, uh, uh maybe i didn't print this page off wood yeah the parallels that are non-numbered, you're going to get hobby exclusive, and, and are the woods one to thirty-two, leathers one to fifty-three packs, plexis are one and eighty, and that I've seen those, they're cool. They look, they remind me of the old, um, you know, the uh, trilogy ice grips autos, except they're not autos. They're just like the plexiglass version type thick card uh, or acetate card. Anyway, they got lots of stuff in there in here and i'm looking forward to ripping open a box I'm, I'm skipping over a bunch of stuff oh yeah what's new in this is also these game ticket auto or, well there's game tickets i don't know if they're autoed but i know a little bit about them because i was in a group break last night and i hit a nice one i have to wait and show you that one uh maybe on the second box i rip it'll have arrived in the mail by then um but that it was a really cool card and they're numbered out of 12 they look like little uh well they are there's actually the tickets they, they chopped up and, and made into a subset there's also like veterans of those like uh, and but the other the other highlight of this is he got chances of Gretzky and Ovechkin autos again. Uh, Ovechkin finally signed some stuff for Upper Deck and uh, you know there are more, there's uh, hard signed cards in here of Ovechkin auto which very rare hard hit but if you hit one you're laughing and uh, so anyway let's see what happens there's again a hobby box you get eight packs four cards per packs thirty two packs thirty two cards altogether and they did buy another box of this so I'll do another break of this uh, probably next week. Well, I don't know if I'll, I might just break it now and then post it next week. And I'm probably posting this. I don't know. I might just launch these uh, right around now because release dates when the interest is in all this. And I don't know. There's a lot of people that rip the new stuff these days. But in case you're thinking of buying a box, uh, again, I paid, uh, again, I'm, a, I'm not in the best location for getting the best price. I'm on the west coast of Canada. I'm Vancouver Island. So, uh, but I also looked if I had these shipped and delivered to where I am, plus tax and everything. I paid. 190 all in for a box, which would work backwards. It'd probably be about 159.99, um, getting and and then maybe a delivery fee. But at any rate, you know you can get them cheaper. You probably can pay a little bit more too. But uh, it's neither here nor there when it comes to hockey cards. I'll pay what I'll pay because I love them. 
I love ripping hockey cards. It's my thing. It's what got me into this hobby. And I've been in it forever and a day and back to doing it full time now. So if you like what you see here, tap the like button. It really makes me feel good and it helps me grow the channel. And stand, standing ovation, also subscribing also helps. But more subscribers, the better. When I get closer to a thousand, I'll figure out how to give away something. Some sort of giveaway prize. Probably be like a blaster box or two. Um, and then, yeah, so if you see stuff you like here, I'm going to probably put it all up on eBay pretty quick. So check out eBay. Uh, standing Ovation is what I use there. And if you got any questions, send me questions directly at questions at standingovation.com. I will try to reply really quickly because uh, that's what I do now. I'm here full time. Doing cards full time. I don't have a store, but I'm going to launch the eBay store soon too. Decided what the heck. I've done it before. It's just one way of getting more inventory up online for a little bit better rate. But I finally got my top rated seller status back on eBay, so... I've sold enough and made enough happy people that they gave me the best rating you can get. So, like I say, check it out. I've got a lot of good stuff, good shipping rates, and i got a good delivery rating. Anyway, enough pumping me. Let's look at cards. Yay for artifacts. Like I say, this is actually the quickest I've gotten onto a new product since Series 1 when I was in Ontario when that product released. Yeah, so I actually made a trip to uh, Nanaimo from where I am, and there's a card shop there, good old Wild Bill. Uh, sports card alley he's got the stock of all kinds of stuff and magic and pokemon and all that stuff if you guys are into that which i'm not but holy cow what a crowd of people playing magic and dungeon the dragons and all the cards going on in there tonight and bill was just sitting back in the corner watching the hockey game i was bugging him while he was there because he was he was eating <laughs> it's funny i walked in right when he was eating anyway let's go on with ripping and looking at Puliari. pavelski oh good mo cider I had lots of artifacts ripped from 21, 22. You think I could hit that that guy then? Nice red parallel. He's no longer a rookie, though. He's 22, 23. They're looking for veneers and boldy and, and them sorts. Patrick Kane. Okay, well, that first pack was kind of, yeah, yeah. He had a numbered card. You are going to get four hits per box, like numbered cards. One of them's going to be an SP out of less than 100. Um, but, uh, yeah. Let's just hope we do a little better than a ruby red Mo cider. I'm and I'm, I say this year's design. I like last year's better. I'm not too big on these big borders on the side. You know, there's too much border and not enough picture. I like backgrounds too in my cards. I'm never a, you know, the SP authentic to me has always been the most ugly card because artifacts is often a close second. I like to see all the stuff in the background. I like to see people in the crowd freaked out. I like angry Kane guy and you know that. You know the way it goes. Anyway, these are, I don't know, good, clean-looking card. Just not my cup of tea. There's Perfetti, popular player these days. Rasmus Dallin having a great year. We got a Maple Leafs artifacts. I think that's Autumn. Chalgren. No, it's numbered at a 299. And I have no idea what uh, color that is again. I'll have to look at my reference. 299 rookie would be called a copper. Well, that is copper, so that wasn't as hard as I thought. Anyway, Shalgren. I don't know what's going to be the story on Shalgren because they got Samson off of Murray. I don't know. Murray can't make his name. He's been around long enough. He should be playing better, I think. But then again, the Leafs, it's a big market. Samson has been doing all right from what I've seen. Shalgren, you know, this. they got Joseph Wall. They got so many goalies that come through Toronto. and Yeah, they never have that one like Eddie or Cujo or Felix the way they used to. They just, Always have a good goalie, and they'd have a crappy team. But now they got a good team, and well, they have a good team, and they don't. They, their goalie is, yeah, they have a good team. Well, I don't want to say it. That sounds bad, because I've never played goalie. I don't know how hard it is. I'm probably, you know, you just stand there and let somebody shoot a puck 150 miles an hour at you. Yeah, that sounds easy. Taves, the veteran. Oh, what's this one? It's uh. There we go, Malkin on the back. With Mo Cedar with the regular Mo. What is this? Is it a redemption? It's a no, it's a player. It's a Barzal out of five ninety nine. That's I guess the artifacts stars SP. Okay, so I got a star, a rookie, a ruby. I'll be looking for some sort of hits now. That's my guess. Let's do this there. There, I like that. I like it like that. I like it. Okay, yeah, there's definitely thickness to this. It's got more girth in this pack. I don't know. Are these worth 25 bucks Canadian? Because that's really what the, you're paying a pack. 
I don't think so. Is anything worth 25 bucks Canadian anymore? Probably not. Like a head of lettuce, um, you know, that's probably equivalent about that these days. A bag of carrots. No, I'm just kidding. But inflation is bad. Suzuki. Patterson. Peterson. Here comes an Orem. I'll hide the Orem till the last year. Uh, yeah, and you're going to get your decoys stocked up again because you seem to get one in every pack. It's actually uh, good because I was just running out. Orem. Artifacts. Orem. Rookie. Bobby Brink. I'm on, I'm on the brink. Yeah, it looks better than this past Orems. They have more, more of a, you see that? Kind of a rainbow sheen. But again, I'm not about to go and collect all the Orems and redeem them. So again, if you're new to the hobby, don't scratch these off unless you got all of them because it's worthless scratching one. They're only good when you get the whole set and then you scratch them and redeem them. And, you know, like they say, the first 12 people, which it's probably already been done by now, get the best prizes. Is, is. But uh, it's a redemption thing. I don't know. I know some of the hobby shops do it. It would take a while for me. I mean, holy cow. I'd have to go far and wide to find them all. Got to catch them all. Okay, here we go. Cal McCarr. Oh, it's a remnants. Again, there's premium versions of these and patch versions, I guess you call them. Barzal. It's a Barzal break. Oh, look. It's a snowstorm outside and a snowy day. No, it's a blur. There you go. Yeah, you're so funny. Not. <coughs> Pardon me. Pardon me. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip over. Well, I don't know. You know me. I'll rip the... Probably intrigued by that purple spectrum jungle, whatever it is. And I'll end up ripping the retail. Only if it's a decent price. It's already out, too. You could buy all these right off the bat. Retail, hobby, and blasters. At least from the one store I was looking at online. Ryan O. Riley. Autofax. Petrono Paranovich. Again, a sticker auto of uh, Paranovich from the Blues. I'm not sure how Paranovich is doing, but he had a rookie in 21-22 high number, I believe. I believe. Maybe it was Series 2. RP. Scott. Raf. RP. Where did I get the RP for? Raf. SP. Paranovich picked up his first NHL point with an assist. Hey, look, they're finally giving you a little bit more than just some lame-ass congratulations. You just got another sticker. Look, we don't need congratulating. We feel fine all by ourselves. Upper deck, you don't need to... Oh, congratulations, you've got... Just put some information on the back, like, you know, or a little tiny congratulations down there. Yeah, wasting all that space on the back of a card. So many of cards, too, from the 90s when you get a hit and you got nothing on the back. I guess if you're only going to you know, only look at one side at a time, that's all they're thinking, right? But, I don't know. There's a lot of wasted space on a lot of the backs, a lot of cool cards. That's all I'm going to say. Just like the wasted space between my ears. Like like I say, my name, standing ovation. That's a nothing in the middle. That's appropriately put there for a reason. My second, hold on. Yeah, anywhere. Henry Yokiharu, Logan Couture, numbered out of 99. Okay, so I guess that's the big hit in the box. <clears throat> Not so big, out of 99. And Charlie McAvoy and Joel Farabee. Yeah, they do promise one under-numbered one numbered hit, uh, at least one, numbered out of 99 or less. And Logan Couture, I'm like, really? I don't know. I was like, kind of hoping this would turn out to be a little bit more exciting -ing. but maybe it'll all be in the second box or maybe I'm just silly to try to think something's going to change and the second box will be just as meh but this box is fairly meh with a capital M McMichael Zuccarello Batherson thick blank stock and it's a clear cut Radim Zohorna no I never heard of Radim Zohorna Zohorna. Penguins. Clear cut. Cool. I like the clear cuts. Kind of a good design. That 18, 19, I don't know, 21, 22 referenced. Like it, it has a kind of a retro. Is that a retro clear cut? I don't know. There are retro versions, I think, of the Autofax. I think maybe that is a retro Autofax. Now I look at it. 
RAF, yeah, Retro Autofacts. So there's a Retro Autofacts. And I don't think that's a Retro Clear Cut. But anyway, it was somewhat interesting. A little bit of a, I don't know, I'm going to have to say a slow start because I know I'm going to rip at least one more of these. And uh, hopefully I'm not to be outdone by, by and it's a retail break. I hope the second one's a little bit more, got a little bit more pow. Although I can't complain because that uh, card I hit in a group break last night, yeah, it's it's a special one. It's a nice one. So that, that kind of makes up for it. Although that's, uh, that's a group break and not a box. So there you go. My first box of 2223 Upper Deck Artifacts. I will try to break another one. As I say, within about a week, I'll try to post another box up here. And in the meantime, check out all the other stuff I break. Because I've now slotted them every other day. At least from February onwards, I'm going to have videos every other day. And uh, I, I do a lot of them in advance. So some of them, I mean, I, I, I maybe have broke the box open in December or January. And you'll see the video and in uh, February or March but whatever I'm just trying to keep the days filled with stuff well uh, and then you know in between days maybe I'll slip one in as new products come out along the way or I'll do a mail video or I'll do something if there's something pertinent to throw in there and uh, yeah I'm getting more of the hang of this and um, again thanks for watching check me out on, on eBay that's really basically the whole reason I break on YouTube I, 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 I sell the stuff on eBay I have no other real markets and god you know the fees on ebay are pretty high so the more i can sell the better it gets and then it's just uh it's just another way of getting market marketing myself and uh and i have fun doing this mind you um so yeah thanks again for watching folks standing ovation out